Hi there! In this video, we are going to explore four fundamental probability distributions. The Bernoulli distribution, the binomial distribution, the categorical distribution, and the multinomial distribution. These distributions are all related and will build from the simplest to the more complex one, so by the end you will understand how they connect and differ. I will also walk you through each distribution's probability formula to see how we calculate the likelihood of different outcomes. Let's start with the Bernoulli distribution. This is the simplest case, a single trial with only two possible outcomes, which is often called success and failure. For example, flipping a coin can be thought of as a Bernoulli trial, where heads might represent success and tails failure. The probability of success, which is heads, is p, and the probability of failure, or tails, is 1 minus p. And the probability distribution formula for a Bernoulli trial is the following. P of capital X to be equal to X is equal to P to the power of X multiplied by 1 minus P to the power of 1 minus X. Where X is either 0 or 1. And if X, which means success, then we remain only with the left side of the equations, since 1 minus X will be 0, and 1 minus P raised to the power of 1 minus X will be equal to 1. So p of x equal to 1 will equal to the probability of success, which is p. Otherwise, if x equals to 0, which means failure, then we remain only with the right side of the equations, since p to the power of 0 will be 1. So p of x equal to 0 will be 1 minus p, the probability of failure. This formula might look really simple, and indeed it is, but it's really important since it is the foundation for all distributions we'll talk in this video. Building on that, we have the binomial distribution, which models multiple independent Bernoulli trials. Suppose we flip a coin not just once, but say 10 times, and we want to know the probability of getting a specific number of heads. In a binomial distribution, we have n trials, each with a probability p of success, and we want the probability of seeing exactly k successes in those n trials. And the probability formula for the binomial distribution is the following. p of x equal to k is equal to combinations of n taken k multiplied by p to the power of k multiplied by 1 minus p to the power of n minus k where n is the number of Bernoulli trials and k is the number of successes, which calculates the number of ways we can arrange k successes among n trials, also known as combinations in math. I won't go into details about how the binomial coefficient is calculated, since that's not the point of the video, but I'll leave some reference where you can dig more if you want to in the video description. All you need to know is that it gives us the number of different ways we can have k successes out of n trials. For example, if we are looking at 3 successes out of 5 trials, the binomial coefficient will be equal to 10, which is equal to the number of ways we can choose 3 trials out of 5 to be successful. Finally, quite similar to the Bernoulli distribution, we have p to the power of k, and 1 to the power of n minus k, which represent the probability of successes and failures, respectively. Overall, the formula can be interpreted as follows. p to the power of k multiplied by 1 minus p to the power of n minus k is the probability of obtaining the sequence of n independent Bernoulli trials, in which k trials are successful, and the remaining n minus k trials result in failure. Since the trials are independent, with probabilities remaining constant between them, any sequence of n trials with k successes and n minus k failures has the same probability of being achieved, regardless of positions of successes within the sequence. There are combinations of n taken k such sequences, since the binomial coefficient counts the number of ways to choose the positions of the k successes among the n trials. Now, let's move to situations where we have more than two possible outcomes in a single trial. This leads up to the categorical distribution. The categorical distribution generalizes the Bernoulli distribution by allowing for more than two possible outcomes, each with its own probability. Imagine rolling a six-sided die. There are six possible outcomes, one through six, each with a probability, and the probabilities must add up to one. For a categorical distribution, 
where there are k possible categories or outcomes with probabilities p1, p2, and so on until pk, the probability of observing an outcome is simply p of x equal to y, which is pi, where pi is the probability associated with the ith outcome and sum from i equal to 1 to n of pi must equal to 1. In the case of a 6-sided die, each pi would be 1 over 6. And following the previous example, in the case of a fair 6-sided die, each pi would be equal to 1 over 6. So, to summarize, this distribution describes the probability of each individual outcome in a single trial with multiple possible results. Finally, we have the multinomial distribution, which extends the categorical distribution by allowing for multiple trials each with the same set of possible outcomes. If we roll a die 10 times and we want to know how many times each face appears, we'd use the multinomial distribution. In this case, we are tracking the count of each outcome over n trials. And the probability formula for the multinomial distribution is the following. Don't guess here because it's quite long, because it's quite simple, if you understood the distribution I've explained so far. Here, n is the number of trials, xi represents the count of outcome i, and pi is the probability of outcome i. And the term n factorial divided by x1 factorial multiplied by x2 factorial and so on is the multinomial coefficient which similar to the binomial coefficient counts the number of ways to arrange the xi occurrences of each outcome across n trials. Thus, this formula tells us the probability of seeing a specific distribution of outcomes across multiple trials. To sum everything up, let's take a quick look at this table which compares these distributions based on the number of trials on the x-axis and the number of possible outcomes on the y-axis. The Bernoulli distribution covers a single yes or no trial, so we put it on the upper left of the cell. Then we move to the right and we have the binomial distribution, which also has a single category but multiple trials. Now on the bottom left, we have the categorical distribution, which similar to the Bernoulli distribution, has a single trial but multiple categories. Finally, on the right bottom of the table, we have the multinomial category, which has both multiple trials and multiple categories. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the explanation of these distributions. Please hit the like button if you did, it helps me tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I am creating on this channel. See you next time, bye bye!